Hello, I'm Chris Garrett, and this is RSU5 Community Programs Remote Recreation. I'm not only a recreation coordinator, I'm also a graphic designer and a sports fan. I design all the logos for RSU5 Community Programs, as well as event shirts and uniforms. You may have seen some of my work at the Great Osprey 10K, or on the basketball court, or my personal favorite, on the lacrosse field. That's why I've been super excited over the past few weeks as NFL teams have been releasing new uniforms for the, fingers crossed, 2020 season. My favorites so far have been the LA Chargers set, especially the blue jerseys with the yellow pants. Now, I have a lot of experience with my favorite teams changing uniforms, especially the Buffalo Sabres. Sometimes I'm happy with the new look, sometimes not so much. My favorite football team is the New York Giants. I know that's an unpopular opinion around Maine, but it's not as unpopular as my favorite baseball team. I haven't owned a Giants jersey since the 80s though, opting for hoodies and t-shirts instead. That's because their jerseys are boring. As a set, I really like their uniforms, but for a long time now, they've just had a blue jersey with nothing special about it. When you add in the pants and helmet, it looks good on the field, but it's boring as fan wear. And I'm not wearing football pants and helmet on Sunday. Well, maybe that's just me. Anyway, I set out to redesign their jerseys while adding a splash of red. At the beginning of their franchise, red was their primary color. That's why they have red numbers on their away jerseys, as well as the red Northwestern stripe. I took inspiration from that stripe and unified it across all elements of the uniform, giving it a little blue on white and red alternate jerseys, and a little white on the big blue jerseys. I matched it on gray and white pants. I also worked in TV numbers that mimic the unique helmet numbers the Giants wear on either side of the main stripe. Finally, I think the Giants underutilized their helmet bumpers. On the front bumper, they use the same logo that's already on their chest in both sides of their helmet, and the back bumper is completely blank. So I put their wordmark logo that was on their helmets in the 80s on the front bumper, and a new secondary wordmark with their big blue nickname on the back. didn't think I needed to do too much to get a jersey that would look good on the field and on my couch. I think I did better than the Patriots' new redesign, at least. So for this week's challenge, I'd love to see what you do to change up your favorite team's look. You can sketch it in colored pencil or get right in there with Photoshop or Illustrator. Either way, post your sketches on Facebook or Instagram and tag us at RSU5CP. We'll see you next time on RSU5 Community Programs Remote Recreation.